Welcome to Movement and Function. Today I'm excited to bring you exercises to improve your tennis swing. Specifically, these exercises are designed to improve flexibility and strength. I'll be using resistance bands throughout this program from light resistance to heavy resistance. So if you have resistance bands on hand, be sure to grab those and let's get started with these exercises. First, let's warm up your shoulders, neck, and spine. So grab your tennis racket or a medium to heavy resistance band. With a resistance band or tennis racket straight out in front of you, keep your arms straight without locking your elbows. Stand with tall posture, chest lifted, shoulders relaxed, little bit of a chin tuck. Have your feet about hips distance apart. Keeping the racket or resistance band straight out in front of you. On your next exhale, twist your trunk to the side. Pause here and come back to the center. Float your head along with your shoulders so that you're looking right between your hands as you go side to side. Continue alternating left and right side 20 times. Start with a slow pace of movement as your body begins to warm up, then you can increase the speed of your movement a bit. Now after 20 repetitions, we're going to add shoulder rotation into the exercise. Start in the same position, and now as you turn to the side, let your shoulders twist as far as you feel comfortable going. Also, turn your head a little bit farther over your shoulder. So your shoulders and your head are twisting as far as it feels comfortable. Again, start with a slow pace. Increase your speed as you feel warmed up. Also, let your hips twist a little bit so the movement is coming from your spine as well as your lower body. So continue twisting side to side. Another 20 repetitions. And then relax. The first strengthening exercise is a combination of flexion, scaption, and abduction. Hold your resistance band out front and turn your right hand so the palm is faced up. Now go ahead and relax the TheraBand at your side. Keeping your left hand tucked down against your leg, right arm forward, correct your posture, lift your chest, relax your shoulders, perform a little bit of a chin tuck. On your next exhale, lift your right arm up, thumb toward the ceiling. Pause at the top and come back down. Now we'll go into scaption, which is an angular movement about 45 degrees out from the side. So we're going to go out to the side 45 degrees and come back down. Again, keep your chest lifted, thumb goes up toward the ceiling, and down. Now the next position will be out to the side. Lift your thumb up toward the ceiling and scoop your arm up and out to the side. Continue alternating the flexion with the scaption and the abduction. Perform 20 repetitions or as many as you can and then switch sides. So now turn your right palm down and left palm up. Keep your right hand tucked in next to your leg. With your chest lifted, shoulder blades relaxed, a little bit of a chin tuck. On your next exhale, lift your left arm straight up toward the ceiling, thumb up. Pause and come back down. Now go out to the side, 45 degree angle, and come back down. And exhale, swoop your arm out to the side, up to the top, and come back down. Continue alternating the forward lift, angle, and side lift. 20 repetitions, or as many as you feel comfortable performing. I recommend performing all of these exercises as a circuit. Perform one set of each of them, and then come back and add in a second set. Also start with light resistance until you get used to the motion. As that becomes easy, progress to medium resistance and then heavy resistance. Also, different exercises require a different amount of stretch in the band, so you'll likely feel ready to progress to a medium and then heavy resistance bands at different times based on the degree of difficulty of the exercise, and that's quite normal. So be sure to keep a variety of resistance bands handy so that you get the most out of this program. The next one is punch rotation. We'll bring the resistance band behind your back and with tall posture, chest lifted, a little bit of a chin tuck, hold the resistance band here, squeeze your shoulder blades back. So don't let the band pull your shoulders forward like this. Keep your shoulder blades down and back. Now one arm at a time, we're gonna punch forward and let your shoulders twist, let your trunk twist. 
and come back to the starting position. Exhale, punch and twist forward and come back. Now let your head either stay straight or you can have your head follow your hand. Either way is just fine. They'll work the muscles a little bit differently, but they're both great. And continue, 20 repetitions. Press forward, rotate, pause, come back. Press forward, rotate, pause, come back. Again, I recommend exhaling as you punch forward. Inhale when you come back to the starting position. Perform 20 repetitions and then rest. The next one is bilateral external rotation. Starting with tall posture, chest lifted, shoulder blades down and back, palms up, squeeze the band, and keeping your elbows by your side, but relaxed, not pinned, just comfortably by your side. Bring your arms out to the side, pause, and then return to the starting position. Bring your arms out to the side, pause, and return to the center. Exhale as you twist out, inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, pull out, inhale, come back to the center. Perform 20 repetitions and then rest. The last strengthening exercise is a one arm row. Now this exercise works very well if you can anchor your band in the door. A great way to do that, and I'll put a, a picture up here somewhere, is to either tie a knot in the band or simply wrap the band around a doorknob and then pull it through the door. Uh, so that you're pulling on the opposite side of the door to where it's anchored. I'll also show you a way to do this using your foot for an anchor. Okay, using your foot as an anchor, sit with tall posture, chest lifted, shoulder blades down and back. Little bit of a chin tuck. And now get a solid grip on the resistance band. And one arm at a time, pull that band along your side. Squeeze your shoulder blade and twist. Rotate your trunk to that side. Pause, come back to the starting position. Exhale as you pull back and turn. Pause and come back to the starting position. Exhale, pull back, turn, pause, and continue alternating sides. Perform 20 repetitions and then rest. Start with a slow pace and as you build up comfort with this exercise, you can begin to add more speed so that it more closely mimics your, your tennis swing. So you could really pull and rotate as you turn side to side. So you can add a little more speed to gain more power benefit from this exercise. But start out slowly and build up your speed and resistance gradually, day by day, set by set. All right, and we'll wrap up with a cross body stretch. Starting with tall posture, chest lifted, shoulder blades down and back. Reach your right arm across your chest and using your left arm just above the elbow, bring your arm in towards your chest, right across your shoulders. You should feel it, a nice stretch right through the back of your right shoulder. Hold for anywhere between five and 20 seconds, depending on what feels best for your body. And then relax. And now switch arms. Cross your left arm over. Use the right arm to gently press in toward your chest. And pause. Hold for five to 20 seconds. And relax. And shake that out. So the duration of the hold is up to you. See what feels best for your body. Perform three repetitions on each side. I hope you found these exercises helpful to improve your tennis swing and help you get more enjoyment out of your tennis game. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able. Here's to your health, happiness, and a fantastic tennis match. Have a great day.